Hello guys, this is Chetan Yadav before you. Today we are going to learn a very interesting topic. Uh, the ways to ask how are you. Guys, if you meet to someone, so you ask only how are you and they reply I am fine. And it becomes over again and again and again. So how does it seem very boring? How, how it is very boring to ask how are you only and reply I am fine. There are many ways, there are many ways that you can ask how are you to people. So once if you start doing this, you are called a very good speaker and listener and you can improve your English communication effectively. Okay guys, so here I'm going to show you some, uh, some ways to ask how are you. And there are two ways that we ask how are you in semi-formal, formal, uh, sorry, there are three ways, formal, semi-formal and formal. Uh, semi-formal, formal and informal, okay? Semi-formal that we can use with our senior authority and junior authority with our youngers and elders, okay? And uh, informal that uh, who are uh, younger than us, who are uh, junior than us, we can use only in, uh, that is called informal and semi-formal that we can use in uh, both conditions. So first, I'm gonna teach you semi-formal formal ways to ask how are you, okay guys? So stop using how are you from today. Now, I'm gonna teach you many ways to ask how are you in different ways, okay? So you can ask me any question if you have any doubt or you have any query. So you, there's an option of live chatting so that I can uh, answer of your questions. So we'll be able to give you best training. So ask how to ask how are you in different ways. Okay, the first way, how, how are you doing? How are you doing? doing it, is, uh, it becomes little friendly at the place of how are you. How are you is especially um, formal. It is used for formal asking how are you. Okay, but when you ask, how are you doing, means it becomes a little bit friendly, friendly and you are asking something little more about his or her life, means you are asking about his physical, mental status, how are you doing? So they can reply, I'm doing great, I'm de uh, doing fantastic, I'm doing well, I'm doing okay, I'm doing good, okay guys? So here, as I'm teaching you the ways of asking how are you, in the same way, there are many ways to reply how are you. We'll talk about this in the next lecture. Just you be uh, with us of Stay Fast Online Trainings. Guys, if you did not subscribe our channel, so do subscribe our channel so that you will get all notifications whenever we'll be going live. Because soon we are going to start in a competitive English grammar. For that, you need a notifications. Okay, so first use of how are you doing. Okay, second, how things are going? How things are going here? Uh, you can either ask how I how things are or you can ask how things are going means here you are asking little uh, more about the personality but here you are not asking very deeply about him or her okay for example if you ask to someone how things are going so you can say uh, things are uh, things are going really well because I got a job last week I visited uh, Goa last week okay so I'm very fantastic things are going uh, really well okay so here you are asking about more, uh, you, you want to get more information about him or her, but not in a deep way, okay guys, not everything about his or her life, okay, that's what, how things are going, okay, suppose if I go to the offline training, so if I visit any branch of street fast, so I can ask students, hey guys, how things are going, so they can talk about how things are going very well, training, systems, services, we are very good, okay, fine, next, how have you been, yeah guys, this is, uh, use for asking the person that you are meeting after a long long time this is the way is used for asking the person that you are meeting after a long long time after a few months okay after a few months suppose you have one of the friend you are gonna meet him you are meeting him after five to six months so you can ask him hey how have you been how have you been so he has to reply i have been okay he has to reply in the same way, I have been okay, I have been a great, okay? So when there is a long duration of uh, meeting that you did, me, did meet before a long, long time, okay? Now you are meeting him again, so you ask to him, how have you been? Suppose I'm going to my students of Nandanagar branch after uh, many months, after many months I'm taking training, so as I will enter in the classroom, I must ask to them, hey guys, how have you been? How have you been? So they have to reply, sir, we have been really good, fantastic, great, okay? Next, how have you been up to? How have you been up to? Here, the same, you are asking about the person, of, uh, you are asking about the person this, how have you been, means you are meeting him after a long, long time, but here you are asking in a deep, you are asking a very deep information about him or her. But see, listen, uh, it is used and can be used uh, with the person that you know well about, okay? For example, you are meeting the person, you don't know much about him. So you don't ask him, how have you been? You just ask him, 
how have you been don't ask him how have you been up to but suppose the person you do know very well about him so you can ask how have you been up to for example about my brother if i'm asking this to my brother it is okay because i know about my brother very well i know about my friends very well okay i know about my colleagues very well so if i am meeting my colleague after a long long time so i can ask hey how have you been up to okay next okay guys you can ask me any questions so samson food stop asking how are you okay by the way i'm really glad to see you thank you next what on earth are you up to what on earth are you up to up to okay guys it is used for formal and semi formal for both okay what on earth are you up to means you are again it is used for a long long durations you are meeting somebody after a long long time what is, what are earth are you up to means you want to get a deep information but 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 listen listen here i have told you in this way that this is used only with the person that you know do know much about okay but here it is not compulsory you can ask this with anyone whether you don't know him or her much about for example uh your office colleague you are meeting him after a long long time so you have to ask what on earth what on earth are you up to okay what on earth are you up to or i can say or i can say the people those become vanish those become vanish suddenly they become vanish you are one of the friend uh, he uh, was meeting you every day or uh, he was meeting you he was interacting you once in at least week but he stop meeting you okay so after a long long time if you meet him you can ask him hey guy hey buddy what on earth are you up to okay you were vanished okay fine next what new ideas are giving you energy what new new ideas are giving you energy especially it is used in a professional life for with a professional people for example in your office with your uh, working colleague people okay so uh, with your working friends so you can ask to your any senior even your junior uh, junior what new ideas are giving you energy okay so they can reply yeah everything is fine uh, is, uh, is, uh, recently i started uh, working on a new project so i got an, uh, an idea for working on a new project okay guys so it is used in office works okay in a professionals with the professional mr jay krishna pande very nice dear sir thank you so much okay mr sanju samsam i must go for the case study of raju dikshit sir definitely we will go uh, it's my commitment it's my promise next week i must plan definitely okay last how do you do how do you do so in the place of how are you you can ask how do you do okay so how do you do do, do you do you can use at the place of how are you it becomes little uh, friendly so uh, you can ask this with your friends and your seniors okay it is used in semi formal okay now now there are more words which are used only in informal you with your friends you are youngers okay with your uh, 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 juniors one so these are the informal words for example first what's new okay when you meet your friends so you can say hi guys what's new so they can reply nothing new everything is as usual everything is okay everything is good or they can reply what's new means what what is new going on in their life so they can uh, say uh, yeah everything is fantastic because uh, we are uh, we are glad because uh, we got a good percentage in the last exam or you can say we have got the number top 1 top 2 top 3 position in a weekly presentation of state fast weekly presentation ceremony okay so what's new guys okay next how did you do how did you do how did you do uh, is a short form of how do you do but how do you do it is used in a semi formal but when you use how did you do it is used in informal only means you can it, it, it can be used with your friends with your juniors with your youngest younger one okay so i can't ask my students how did you do because my students are not uh, they don't come in my informal they don't come uh, in informal okay even i can't ask to my father how did you do okay guys my father is a formal uh, for me okay so my students all also cannot ask me sir how did you do okay because i am in informal for them so who are uh, who are uh, in informal uh, we use how did you do next what's up might you might have listened this word many times what's up uh, it is more uh, it is more informal 
uh, it is more used for informal ways. Okay, so WhatsApp is also the way to ask how are you with in you know, informal condition. It is next. Let's go to next. How is going on? How is going on? See, we don't have to pronounce like how is it going on. We have to pronounce how is it going on. How is it going on? It is like how things are going on. At the place of speaking how things are going on, you can say how is it going on. See, how things are going on, it is used in a semi-formal. But if you say how is it going on, it is used in an informal only. Okay. So, at the place of how things are going on, you can say, how is it going on? But you know what you do remember when you pronounce this, it is, how is it going on? Not, how is it going on? So, you have to practice of this. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Jai Krishna Pandey. Okay, for the best compliment, I want to learn from you only. But, you know, guys, we have uh, many trainers and Vinay sir, Ravi sir, also, they also give their best. But, it's a compliment for me. Thank you so much for that. So, how is it going on? This is a way you can ask at the place of how things are going on. Next, what's cooking? Yeah, it is the way which is used only in informal. What's cooking means what's happening. At the What we say, sometimes we ask, what's happening guys? So, at the place of saying what's happening, you can say what's cooking? What's cooking? I cannot ask to my students, hey guys, what's cooking? Okay, because it is used in an informal only. Okay. So, what's cooking means what's happening. This is also can be used. Okay. Okay, guys, you can ask any question. People are live. Next. Why the glow? Yes, guys, it is also used in an informal. Why the glow means, why the uh, glow means, uh, okay. why you are happy today, why you are looking so excited, why you are looking so energetic. So, when you see the people, they are looking very happy. So, you can say, why the glow? So, they can reply. Because, you know, uh, uh, I, got, I got passed in my exam or they can say I got the reward in dancing. Whatever the reason they have, they can reply. So, why the glow is also, okay? Look at me today. I'm looking a little happy because, you know what, after three or four days, I'm coming back in a live runnings. Sorry, I could not come, uh, continue last week because I had a little hectic schedule. Okay, guys, let's move on again in short repetition, short revision. How... Are you doing? How are you doing? It means you are asking about the person at the place of how are you for knowing the things about his physical and mental status. It is used in a both conditions, formal and semi-formal. Next, how things are going on? Here you are asking about little more. You wanna little, you wanna get little more informed about him or him, not but in a deeply way. Okay. Next, how have you been when you meet the person after a long, long time? That asks you ask you, you ask how have you been? Next, how have you been up to here? You want to get more and deep information about the person, but here you must remember, do remember, it is used only with the person that you do know very well about him or her, okay? Next, uh, what on earth are you up to? Yeah, it is used again after you, after a after long, long time meeting, but you can ask this with anyone, whether you don't know much about him or her, okay? What, what new ideas are uh, giving you energy? It is used for, with the people, those are energetic, those are very passionate, those are very ambitious. If you meet to them, so you can ask what new ideas are giving you energy. Next, how do you do? So it becomes little friendly at the place of how are you? How do you do? Okay, and these words are used only in informal ways. First, what's new? What's new going on at the place of telling? You can say what's new? How do you do it? How do you do it at the place of how do you do? You can ask how do you do it, but remember it is used only in, with on informal ways. Okay, what's up? Okay, what's up? You might have listened this word. Okay, so you can use with your friends, especially. Uh, how it? How is it going on? See pronunciation. When you pronounce this, do remember it is. How is it going on? Not how is it going on? Okay. Next. Uh, what's cooking at the place of asking what's happening sometimes we ask what's happening guys we can say what's cooking okay and why the globe for getting the reason for knowing the reason okay when you want to get reason about him or her why is looking why is she looking very happy so excited okay so you can say why the globe okay guys it was the lecture i could uh, i have completed so do share this video to all your friends your colleagues your relatives so that they can they can also learn english by straight fast online trainings for joining our offline trainings nandanagar 
Tower Square, Madi Mata branch, do contact and do call on the numbers which are given below slide. Okay, and do subscribe our YouTube channel so that you will get all the notifications of whenever uh, we will go for our live trainings because soon we are going to start competitive English grammar. Okay, guys, so be with me because your next lecture will be of your personality development. The lecture name is What is Leadership Skills? Bye bye, have a nice day, good night, one chain can change your life.